Welcome to Sacramento Real Estate Voice. Hop on in and put your seatbelt on because we're on our way to show about 14 homes to a home buyer. And I thought I would take this time to talk about something that I really, I don't think I've addressed, which I found really incredible that I haven't. And that's CCNRs. Um, everybody has CCNRs. Uh, unless you bought farm property years ago and you're sitting there you know for 50 years with farm property everybody's got CC&Rs. CC&Rs are covenants, conditions, and restrictions. Those are the rules of the area in which you live. And there are certain rules that you need to adhere by. Um, typically they're pretty general such as you know uh, you can't uh, have a bunch of roosters in your backyard crowing all over the place and waking up your neighbors. Uh, working on cars in your driveway, you know, putting them up on boxes or whatever you put cars up on uh, and just leaving them overnight <clears throat> so that you look like an auto dealership. Uh, things like that. Technic, you know, what I also have seen is uh, nothing built and showing over the fence height unless of course it's a patio cover which should be permitted um, those are the types of rules and regulations uh, that most CCNRs uh, indicate uh, also in terms of noise and nuisance you know typically the the city that you live in will have uh, rules about that with the police department there is no one to enforce those CCNRs um, for the typical homeowner. Uh, so if there is an infraction, someone in within the area who is not abiding by the CCNRs, you would need to take them to court and you know bring a copy of the CCNRs before you know anyone could do anything about it, which is uh, very time-consuming and costly, obviously. Um, the other part of CCNRs are where there are more restrictions. That's typically in a homeowners association and you're paying a monthly or a quarterly or yearly fee uh, to live in that association and they have the right to tell you many times what colors you can paint your house, what type of roofs you can put on when it's time to replace your roof, uh, sometimes even what plants to plant in the front yard and um, you know parking on the street in front of your house that sort of thing uh, and those rules are enforced uh, there is a company that uh, the homeowners association typically hires and uh, that's where some of your money goes to each month um, your homeowners dues and they will fine uh, you if you do not abide by the rules so, and they do have the ability to put a lien on your property. So it's very important when you're deciding uh, where you want to live, you're a home buyer deciding, okay, what do I, what type of house do I want, where, what type of neighborhood do I want, that's an important decision that you need to consider. Some people um, really are not uh, in tune with homeowners association rules and regulations, so that would not be for you. Other people want to live in an association where they don't have to worry about whether or not uh, somebody moves in that wants to paint their house purple with pink polka dots um, or have uh, a car lot in front of the house, which deteriorates the neighborhood and drives prices down. So it's, uh, it's an important decision that you need to make, and I hope that helps to explain uh, about CCNRs and homeowners associations. It's just a brief, brief summary. There's a lot more to it. The tip here would be that it's essential, no matter where you're moving to, to read the CCNRs. Know what the rules are in the neighborhood where you're moving to. That's my real estate tip for all of you Sacramento home buyers out there and some of you homeowners that haven't read your CCNRs. <laughs> and in the meantime, 
Thanks for popping in to Sacramento Real Estate Voice, and stay safe, as always. See you back here. Bye-bye.